Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use gutter or outline on your silk. I like to use Marabou silk outliner. This is a lovely stuff. It comes in the bottle with the nib, so you don't have to mess around um, filling up a bottle, finding a nib for it and then washing it out afterwards. So this is just, it's so easy. So easy to use. You just put the lid back on it and then it's ready for the next time. So what I'm going to do is show you how to put it onto the silk and it's quite easy. You just need to make smooth, firm movements on the silk. So you press down lightly. You want to make sure that the, the gutter goes all the way through, penetrates the silk right through to the other side and that there's no gaps at all. Now I'm not squeezing the bottle because it comes out too thickly. In fact, it's coming out a little thickly now. So what I do is I just give it a squeeze, take out some from the nib and start again. You don't want it to be too thick because then it's just, it just starts to look a little bit messy. But then on the other hand, you definitely don't want any gaps because if there's any gaps, then of course your silk paint's going to go through those gaps. This is called the Surti technique and the Surti technique is all about creating barriers on your silk so that you control the flow of your paint and it only goes up to those barriers and doesn't cross them. Now so just slow steady movements like that. It takes a bit of practice so what I would suggest you do is just um, stretch a piece of silk onto a frame and just practice. Practice writing or, you know, doodling patterns, anything, just until you get the feel of the of the outliner. The pattern I'm using today is called Moroccan Summer and this is a wall hanging pattern. And all I did was I stretched the silk onto a frame Take the pattern to the back um, and traced it, traced it onto the silk with a pencil. Not too heavy, but enough so that I could see it quite clearly, so that I can trace over it with the outliner. And this is just one of the flowers from the pattern that I'm doing now. So there we go, nice steady movements. The other thing that you really need to watch out for is that you don't smudge the, the outliner as well. I'm left-handed, so I generally work from, from right to left. And the colour that I'm using here is silver. Silver is my very, very favourite um, outliner. It's just, it, it's a really beautiful colour on silk. It sh shows up more than any other colour. And if you have a wall hanging and the sun shines on it, it just, it just pops. You, it just shines so brightly, the silver. And it's just gorgeous, it really is. It's just really beautiful. So I would use this colour a lot. So there we go. I'm just going to keep on doing this until I'm finished. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to paint this flower. And once I've outlined it like this, once I've done all the pattern, then what I like to do is dots. I just do little dots all around the edge. I'm just doing it around the edges of the petals not the patterns in the petals. And what that does is it just makes the, the flowers stand out even more. It, it makes a much thicker barrier, which is good anyway. But you can really see it then, especially when the sun shines on it. It really is beautiful. So I just do that all the way around the edges. Let it dry. And then it's ready to paint. And it's a really hot day today here, so this 
won't take very long to dry. But if you are in a hurry, of course, you can just use a hairdryer. So there we go. Now this will take me about 20 minutes, I think. So I'll just keep going and then I'll show you what to do next.